Today we do want to talk about some of the damage that has been left behind. A lot of folks waking up this morning, seeing some of that from the late night storms. We do want to send it out to Ash Minnelli, who's been kind of surveying the damage in Simpsonville for us all morning long. Ashley? Yeah, we're here on Berlander Court where uh, the damage is pretty extensive, particularly at one home behind me. Uh, but here you can see Simpsonville City crew already out picking up debris. We have been out here all morning long, and you can see now that the sun is up just how bad it got on this street. Several downed trees in this area. One home, the trees came crashing through the roof. We just talked to that homeowner. Take a listen to what she had to say about it. I'm sitting in my room and all of a sudden you could hear these very weird noises and start to feel the house flex in and out and these weird winds and in that split second already trees were down, landing in my room, um, ceiling falling on my head. And this is actually the same area of Simpsonville that got hit during that 2016 tornado that tore through in November. Uh, a lot of people say that they remember that. And they, a lot of them saying that the damage was just different back then. In fact, that homeowner you just heard from said the tornado kind of swiped her home this time around the storm, which we don't know if it was a tornado or not yet. It just kind of uh, really did some major damage. Her home is probably a total loss, unfortunately. Nicole?